Hi uh, guys, I'm sorry, I guess it cuts off at 15 minutes. Um, so back to what I was saying, you know, the person would just close their house like, heart like that and walk away. And because of that, you know, doing that kind of thing, it, it just kind of like, like, okay, the person backs up, okay, I am not ready for this, I thought I was, so I'm just going to go on living my life. Um... You know, lost all compassion for this person by talking, not just, I don't want to say talking craziness, but screaming and yelling like the person's really going to listen to you by you screaming and yelling. It, it's not, it's, it's not going to work. Um, you know, trust me with this, that Jesus would never approve of this way getting others to come unto him and to repent of their sinful ways. Like I said previously, you know, yes, we should instill in them the seriousness of their choices and the seriousness of, of following Christ and accepting him, of how serious it is, like, but you don't need to be screaming and yelling at them about it. You can have a stern voice conviction, you can be, you know, compassionate while being stern. You don't need to be yelling and screaming about it on the corner of the street. It just makes you look like a complete fool. Um, it, you know, like I said, Jesus would never approve this stuff. You know, There's, because he himself he himself has always done things with love, kindness, and compassion. So we should be doing the same ourselves. You should not be putting fear, that kind of fear anyways, into someone's heart. Not just that kind of fear, fear at all, because then you're losing all love and compassion for, for these lost, you know. Um, we should, you know, always be doing that when it comes to that. You know, it, fear, it, when you put that kind of fear into someone's heart, it, you, you're going to scare them away. You, by doing that, screaming and preaching the doom and gloom stuff, you know, all the time, you're going to put that kind of fear into someone's heart, and the negative effect is that they're going to get so scared of it that they're just going to walk away and, and be like, I want nothing to do with this. And they're just going to think very negative things about just people in general in that aspect. Anyways, um, the third part was, um, the third part, uh, is ask the Holy Spirit for the words guidance as to what to say. Um, let's see. No, on this. Uh, when trying to share the love of Christ and calling others into repentance, you should always look to the Holy Spirit for guidance and for the words of knowledge what you should and should not say. Because for me, myself, I, I always try to look for the Spirit's um, guidance when it comes to these kind of things because, you know, I'm a representative of Christ and I do not want to get the wrong information off to someone at all, you know. Um, so, you know, for the words of knowledge, you should not, you should not say to the person who you're trying to talk to. You should always be asking for his presence to be with you if you go to this individual to speak to them of the blessings of repentance. And coming on to Christ. Because without having the Holy Spirit to guide you, it will be very hard to convince the person to repent and accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. For it is only through the Holy Spirit you can, you can get others to understand the importance of it. You would be nothing but a mere instrument to help accomplish this work of preaching the good news to all nations. 
that through repentance and baptism they can find freedom and so many blessings beyond what they can possibly understand. This is because their, their Heavenly Father is just sitting there, waiting for them, waiting for them to call on Him to ask for forgiveness and, and to repent. I mean, He wants us to plead our hearts out to Him with sincerity, you know, and, and they, you know, being that they, if this is a person that has never accepted Christ, he, he, he wants us to, you know, the meaning them, uh, to repent with a sincere heart and to turn from their ways and to follow only his ways and commandments, not men, not what some preacher is saying on TV, not what I'm saying either, you know, don't you know, don't take me as a prophet or a teacher because I know I might claim to do so. I'm just a mere disciple trying to convey what my Lord has asked me. Um, just a witness. I'm, you know, like, you know, a lot of things. I, I don't think I'm worthy of doing this, but God has asked me to do it, so therefore I am doing it. Um, all I have to say is, you know, thanks for taking the time out to watch Jesus. I mean, like I said, this is my first time doing these kind of things and these kind of videos, so I'm kind of, you know, new at this. So probably show, I'm pretty sure I'll probably get better as, you know, as I do more and more of them and as I go along. Um, you know, there'll be more posts on this subject, you know, as I, you know, as I stated before, you know because this is just a wide range subject, there's so much to cover and you know, I, I, the Lord has put it in my heart and mind that He wants people to understand the subject in simple ways, not because not people, a lot of people make it to be complicated when it's not complicated at all in any way and you know, He's put it on my heart that you know, try to to put this in the most simplest terms in the most simplest ways so that people don't get confused. Um, there are about, well, like I said before, about two or three more posts on the issue, uh, you know, of this importance, you know, of repentance, you know, and, you know, what I do next after, you know, I finish up this, this whole, um, con you know, I wouldn't say concept, this whole uh, a topic, you know, it, it's entirely up to the Holy Spirit and what the Savior wants me to say. You know, it's more or less what He wants right now, what He's He's telling me in my heart and mind. That I, what right now, what He really wants me to say and what He really wants me to let people know that how important it is to repent. How important that it is especially in the times that we're living in now and how important it is to, to, to get others to do the same. Um, all I can say is that he, he, he felt this is, this is what, what the people need to know. This is what he has spoke to me in my heart. Like I said, I'll probably repeat myself or attend to do anyways. Most people that know me know that. Anyhow, um, he feels that this is the most important thing that should be told and should be expressed and should be said because now I don't think enough people talk about it. I don't think they talk about it in the most simplest and most ways that can be understood by anybody. Um, I pray that Jesus blesses you and the power of the Holy Spirit be with you always and may Jesus bless you.